Adobe is diving into hardware with a new Ink and Slide digital pen and ruler set intended for iPad artists. Ink is a Bluetooth stylus specially developed to deliver pressure-sensitive digital ink flow into iPad apps, while Slide is a tactile ruler for perfecting straight lines on screen. Of the two, only Ink is battery-powered, coming with a combination micro-USB charger and carry case. Adobe will also offer APIs for third-party developers who want to add support to their own apps. To begin with, though, you'll need Adobe's new software, Line and Sketch, for iPad and iPad Mini. Ink acts not only as a pen, but as the artist's identity, quickly pairing with the iOS tablet and giving access to the user's creative cloud account of artwork at the same time. Line is described as a modern approach to drawing and drafting, supporting both freeform sketching and more structured work. For the amateur artists among us, it works as a playpen for exploring, but it's also capable of some impressive results when paired with the right skills, and eventually Adobe will add exporting to its desktop apps. Unlimited undo is allowed, including a full timeline of the drawing process, with a range of tools from pencils through pens and brushes. Different presets of themed colours are easily accessed from the toolbar. An on-screen ruler can be controlled with multi-touch gestures, letting you create precise straight lines which snap to join where they touch. Twisting your fingers on the two hotspots move the guidelines around in parallel. However, drop slide onto the screen and it acts as a tactile interface for the ruler. It takes a little getting used to at first, particularly in understanding that the line you draw follows slide's guideline rather than where the nib itself is. On an iPad Air, there's a little parallax to contend with too, the offset between the nib and the digital link, but adjusting between the hand settings and the palm rejection can help. Meanwhile, easy perspective images can be created using adjustable guidelines. It's simple to piece together geometric shapes, even if you usually struggle with visualizing 3D structures, and you can of course zoom in and out as well as pan around the virtual paper. Slide is also used to control trace packs, sets of shapes ranging from simple geometric figures through to Herman Miller chairs, people, and user interface templates. With them, you can quickly populate a scene without having to fuss over the details. Clicking Slide's button cycles through each set, and graphics can be resized and rotated, as well as only partially drawn in. It's easy to see how Line might be adopted by app designers looking for a simple way to mock up interfaces. Adobe also provides a cloud-based clipboard, which can be used to collect and reuse your favourite shapes or even your signature, and because it's associated with the pen, they're available to click on any device you pair with, as are your custom colour sets. Holding down the button and long pressing on an image saves it to the clipboard, where it can be starred for even quicker recall later on. Similarly, you can paste in a saved graphic and then resize it and reorient it in the new image. Adobe Sketch, meanwhile, is a more freeform art app, allowing for creation from scratch or by importing a photo and working from that. If you struggle drawing hands or faces, it can be a shortcut to getting the details right. However, it also allows you to borrow the mood of a source image, since Sketch can create colour sets on the fly based on the predominant colours of an imported picture. Creations in both Line and Sketch can be easily shared online using the feedback tools built into Creative Cloud, or via the iPad's usual routes like email. Adobe and Slide won't make you a great artist automatically, but it's already shaping up to be the best iPad stylus we've seen. It ships from today, priced at $199.99.